So this video serves purpose for how we can wear our mask during the school day. So we want to make sure that we are always modeling to our scholars how to properly wear a mask because our scholars are always looking to us for other things. So we want to make sure that we're teaching this new protocol to them as well. So first things first, when I'm in the building and when I'm teaching, I'm always going to have my mask on. Now notice how it covers my nose, right? And my mouth. So if I'm wearing my mask like this, right? With my nose being exposed, then I might as well not be wearing my mask at all, right? Because I want to make sure that it's covering everything so that air quality, right? I'm not inhaling anything that I shouldn't be. So with that being said, how do you properly take your mask off, right? Take your two fingers, wrap them around your ears, and then you take it off that way. So this helps not to touch the front of the mask or the inside of the mask as you don't want to contaminate that area, right? So one thing you do when you put it back on the same way, and you can pull it down here if you need to, and then you can pump a little bit of hand sanitizer on your hands, or of course, want to run through soap and water. So one of the questions that we've gotten is, well, what about these face shields that we have? So face shields are going to be in all of your starter kits that you will receive on your grade level walkthroughs. But when you are wearing your face shield, you always want to have your mask on as well, right? Because a face shield without a mask is also not the best practice. So with that being said, let's say that I am teaching in the front of my classroom and I want to have a scholar see one of the words that I'm trying to say. It is perfectly okay for me to drop my mask down for just a moment or two to be able to teach through that. Because if I'm at the front of my classroom, I'm still six to eight feet away from that very first scholar. And then I can make sure that I pull it right back up and go throughout my teaching. Now, also, when you go and you work with scholars, you can go through your room and work with scholars one on one if you'd like. If you have a teacher assistant, they can do that as well. It would probably be best practice to keep your face shield on as well as your mask because your scholar will have a mask on as well. So if, uh, and to me, that's just best practice to make sure that we're lowering a spread and making sure that we're keeping everybody safe. Now, if you just wanna work with a scholar uh, for a couple of seconds or a couple minutes with your mask on and their mask on, that is okay as well. But this face shield is here for additional safety measures if you so choose.